<clears throat> oh, Sir Lionel, I uh, was just getting some fresh air. Uh, you seem um, troubled, Mr. Link. Sir Lionel, have you ever wanted something so bad it hurt inside? Like gas, but sadder? <clears throat> it well, yes. As a matter of fact, I have. As long as I can remember, I... I wish to become a great adventurer. Respected throughout the Empire. No, hasn't quite worked out that way. Not yet. But someday... Yes, some day people will remember my deeds and know my name. Of course they will. Your name is going to go down in history as the world's greatest adventurer. <laughs> oh, no. Not the greatest, surely. At least you have a name. One of your own, I mean. I, I don't think Mr. Link really counts. Well, then, perhaps we might remedy that. What do you mean? You must choose a name. Um, and a name that has special meaning to you. Yes, perhaps... Perhaps the name of someone in your life who touched you. Here. My nipple? Heart. Your heart. Oh, yeah. <sighs> well, some years back there was a young prospector who came to live in the woods to try their luck on the high mountain rivers. One day they came close to my cave while out picking berries. And they saw me and they were just standing there. And when I looked at them, they didn't scream, didn't turn and run away like most people do. They just, they just smiled. And that smile meant the world to me. Perfect. And, and, and what was the prospector's name? Susan. Su Susan. Yeah, Susan. That should be my name. So this prospector was a girl? Yes, that's correct. Well, then that is a girl's name. Uh-huh. Well, yes, I... Um, it suits you. And now... Now we must rest. We have a long way to go, but... I assure you... We will reach the Himalayas and find this lost civilization of yetis, this Shangri-La. We will find your place. Good night, uh, Susan. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> <laughs>